Magic makes it easy for developers to build decentralized applications on Harmony. With the Magic SDK, users just need to enter their email, click a link that's emailed to them, and then are automatically logged in and generated a Harmony wallet. Users don't have to remember a seed phrase or any passwords, and developers don't have to manage user private keys. That's all handled by Magic's delegated key management solution. All the user needs is access to their email. Once logged in, it's easy to build a UI that allows users to send transactions, deploy smart contracts, interact with smart contracts, and much more. Let's quickly go through and see how it works. Clicking this will just trigger an email to be sent to me that I just need to click in order to log in. So logging in right now. And you'll see when I return back to the application, I have my Harmony address and then an interface to send a transaction, deploy a smart contract, and interact with a smart contract. So to see how it works, I will just quickly send myself a transaction of 101. While we're waiting for that to be confirmed, we can deploy a smart contract and interact with a smart contract. So this is just setting a value. And you'll see that the transactions have been confirmed by the network. And this is just a quick example that demonstrates some things that you can do with the Harmony Magic extension. Next, we're gonna dive into some of the code. To build an app on Harmony with Magic authentication, you only need a few dependencies. The Magic SDK, Magic's Harmony extension, and a couple Harmony libraries. Here we initiate Magic and pass in the RPC URL and chain ID to connect to the Harmony blockchain. In these next few lines of code, we create a Harmony instance and define the contract address and ABI, which are used in the contract send function below, right here. Now getting into the main component of the application, this use effect hook will run each time the page refreshes and calls magic.user that is logged in to check if a user is logged in with magic. That way we know whether to show the login screen or the logged in screen. The core functionality of magic is handled by this one SDK method, login with magic link. It triggers an email to the user, which when clicked authenticates them onto your app. To log a user out, simply call magic.user.logout. For sending transactions, Magic feels more like a Web 2 app than a Web 3 app. Users don't have to make the extra click to sign a transaction after it's constructed. As a developer, just pass in the transaction parameters and send it with magic.harmony.sendTransaction. For deploying a smart contract, it's also really simple. Here the contract bytecode is hard-coded and you can deploy it in a similar fashion as above with magic.harmony.sendTransaction, but for this, there's no to field. Finally, to call a contract with magic, you just need to set up an instance of the already deployed contract. And here we use the contract address and ABI, uh, which was defined above. Then you just retrieve the transaction data from the contract function we want to call and after adding it in with the gas limit and gas price to the payload, use the same magic.harmony.sendTransaction SDK method.